The idea of deploying visualizations that limit what data you have access to based on what user you're logged in as is a pretty common topic of discussion. Now, there's a lot of different ways to implement what's referred to as row-level security in an IT environment. If you're using Spotfire, one of the most common approaches would be to create what's known as a personalized information link. There's a few steps involved, but once you've gone through it, it's pretty straightforward. Let's say that you've got a database table full of transactions from a retail chain in the U.S. You've got territory managers that need access to the data from their respective regions, and a director that needs access to everything. As long as the transactions have a field that we can key off of, such as territory, we can create any kind of row-level security that we want just by creating and joining a two-column permissions table. So now we're in our Spotfire environment, and I've created a couple of users just to, uh, to demonstrate exactly how this would work. So if I go into Tools, Administration Manager, I prefixed all of my users, in this case with Sales Demo. So you can see salesdemo.psmith, who is our director, and salesdemo.jflint, who would have access to a certain territory. Um, so as long as I know my usernames, then I can take a look at SQL Server, and I can take a look at, uh, you know, first my data table, which I have just retail transactions that have happened in a um, you know, across the country in a given sp period of time. And one of the things that I'm flagging all of my transactions with is territory. So since I don't have the actual users, uh, sorry, the, uh, the director's names like Jay Flint or P. Smith in any of my transactions themselves, I've just created a lookup table. And my lookup table basically indicates that if I see that person's user ID along with the particular territory, then they have access to that territory. And all I really need to do is a join to figure out who should have access to which records. So in Spotfire, to put this use case together, first thing I'm going to do is go into Information Designer and just create a space for all of my uh, things that I'm going to create. So I'm going to go right click, New Folder, Retail, point of sales, demo. And then from the data sources tab, I'll open up my database. And I'm going to right click and click on uh, create default information model, which is usually the easiest way to just create an information link on the fly that has all of the columns in that table. I'm going to place it in my directory that I just created. And I'm going to do the same thing for my lookup table. All right, so now that I've got my two um, uh, default information links, there's two extra steps that I really need to do to, to start configuring my personalized information link. The first one is in your lookup table, find the column that represents your user ID and edit it. And you're going to add a filter from the original data sources column that created this element. And then in the expression below, you're just going to add in the flag that represents the user that you're currently logged in as. All right. So now that we've saved that, we don't need to open it anymore. The next thing we need to do is to create a join. So we can just click on create join from the start page. And it's going to be a join between the territory in our user territory mapping, or our lookup table, and then the actual data table will find the same column. It defaults to an inner join, which is good. And we can save this right in the same directory that we just created everything else in. And we can close it. So now that we're, we've done that, we can open up the information link from the data table that we really care about. We're going to add in the user ID element from the lookup table. And then we're also going to add in the join that we just created. And then save this as a personalized information link. So we just give it a new name, point of sales, personalized. And that's it. 
now we've created a personalized information link that we can use for whatever purposes we might have. So to see that in practice, we're going to log in as that national director who's going to create a, uh, a quick analysis. So go into my library, demo, retail point of sales, and I'll pick my personalized information link. And that'll bring back a certain number of columns. Should be basically bring back all of the uh, the records from the uh, the data sets. You can see 32,000 records right here. So this is defaulted to a bar chart. Maybe we can switch this to a tree map. And let's color this by the different territories. And we'll go to the colors and just make this, yeah, we want this unique, right? And that's what we want, unique values. There we go, and then let's just make the colors a little bit better, so we'll do 10 color categorical. That's better. All right, so you know this is doing a count of how many records are in each territory, and if we click on details visualization, we'll do bar chart, and instead of this being a territory, we'll do this breaking out by state. And instead of row count, we're going to make that the sales total and that as an average. There we go. So now, if we pick any of these, we've got a nice little dashboard app. But remember, we should only be limited to, we should only be limiting our directors to the territories that they're responsible for. So we'll save this as a library item put that in the same directory as everything else. Retail point of sales personalized analysis. Next and next. And rather than accessing this from the uh, the analyst, why don't we just show accessing it right from the web. So we'll go ahead and log in this time as a different user. Sales demo dot J Flint. And we'll log in. And now we're opening up that visualization, but you'll notice I don't have access to 32,000. I only have access to the records that I, uh, that I am responsible for. So in this case, Jay Flint is responsible for New England and the East North Central region. And so that's what he has the ability to drill into. If we were to open this again, we'll open a new session. And this time we'll do sales demo a McKay so opening up the exact same link but in this case a McKay only has access to the Pacific region All right. so that's how a personalized information link works it's really just taking your current user and passing it in as a where clause onto a lookup table that we're doing a join on um, I hope this was clear. Uh, I'd love to know what else you want to see, and uh, make sure you subscribe to me. Thanks.